Okay, it's like day 56 I've been working on this Jeep. Whoever designed this is an idiot who put this front diff in and oil pan and all that. Oh my, what a nightmare. Anyway, thanks to all the salt we use on our roads here, I can't get out half the bolts. So I'll show you what kind of I've done here and I feel like crying half the time. I haven't seen my family in like 40 days or something. And okay, well, let's just go right here right, right now. Steering bolts, gotta get them out. Uh, kind of had a little bit of success with just loosening off this and not removing this one bolt because you have to cut it out because you can't drive it out because this this is in. They couldn't reverse the bolt like from the factory. Like, come on, guys, really? Look at this one. This one I have to get out. Why? Because I have to remove this bracket. In order to, there's another bolt right up back there. I just grab my light and shine some light in there. There it is. That one has to come off. That's easy. It's easy to convert the rest of this. I won't say garbage, but because you can't slide the diff that way because everything is here. What a nightmare. Um, what else we got here going on? Oh, I need to go eat. But I've only been spending hours on this thing with rusty bolts. That's the problem. There it is, that mount. This whole thing has just become... Uh, I've been just being at work and sleeping and eating and thinking about this stupid thing the whole time. Yeah, I'm telling you, the way it is. Don't do this job at home. This is not fun. I wish I had a hoist. It would be a little easier, but... Oh, let's see if you can see anything here. Probably not, because the light's wrong way yeah i'm gonna be cursing and swearing and throwing things but that's besides the point okay so what are you gonna do bracket out we already talked about that bolt you're gonna have to cut it these two finally surprisingly came out easy okay this bolt here you gotta cut it you gotta get it out you gotta cut it either that or you will drop out both sub free or sorry lower control arms which I don't think you really want to do. Because then you have to set it in for an alignment and get it all set up. You know, let's just put some light here. Oh, this thing is not fun. This is one of my non-fun jobs. So again, this bolt, you have to cut it out. I'm going to get the nut off. That's no big deal. And drive it a bit that way. And then cut the head off with my sawzall. Same with that one. And then I have to get replacement bolts. Oh, the one that, oh, just get my One great bolt right there. That one. That horseshoe shaped thing where the axle goes through and that bolt. Hey, look at my last part of my video. Uh, well, I'm going to blend this all into one anyway, but don't waste your time on that bolt. Cut the sucker off. Oh, and try to find a new one. That yeah, grade 8 bolt. Um, good luck. They're online. You can get them. But you're going to pay for it, so it doesn't matter. There we go. And there's the oil pan. Whoever designed an oil pan to rust like that, I'd like them to come down here and change it out with me. Listen to what I have to say to them. I have never changed out an oil pan in my life for being rusty. Other than on this thing, which I'm about to do. That's it. We'll continue on. We'll keep watching. I'm really hoping this thing comes apart easy so because... Day, what am I in? Day 29, day 14, day 63. Lost count already. 